what's up y'all so i wanted to uh do this while i was polishing my toenails i'm applying gel polish i did do a pedicure it's so um the reason why i wanted to um show y'all while i was polishing my nails my toenails is to like first you know because this is diy and to show y'all um how i am posturing myself doing this and there's many there's many ways that whatever way you feel comfortable um doing your own toes your own feet and your toes uh you do what's comfortable for you um and then you might when you're watching while you're watching me you might you might uh do the same thing or you might get it, get an idea to want to try this because it looks comfortable so um i'm sitting in one chair and got my feet in this other chair and i'm still y'all if y'all have watched any of my polishing uh, videos when i polish my nails um i'm still balancing um one of my fingers on the other hand because i want to keep a steady hand while i'm polishing and my goal here is to stay inside the line because i don't want to have much to clean up so and um so far so good but this uh I can see right now my, and I'm going to show y'all in a minute, as soon as I do this, my, y'all, I love this color, by the way, look at this, so my, um, on my big toe, I, I put too much polish on the brush, and so it kind of ran over into the side of my, into the groove of the nail. And so I want to, I do, with gel polish, you want to make sure you uh, you clean that up because when it goes into the light, it'll be hard to, it'll, the, the, you'll have to foul it off once you're done. And then you run the risk of uh, fouling too much and then it'll cause your polish to chip and then your gel polish won't last as long. So I just kind of grabbed the closest thing to me, which was my wooden stick. And let me see if y'all can see this. Oh, I can't, uh, I thought I could bring it closer to y'all. But yeah. And if you end up like, um, you can also use your, um, your cleanup brush too. I call it a manicure brush to get it. And so that's cool for right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the light. And so notice that my light that I have here, I can easily just bring it to me and my feet can go in there. I'm gonna put this on 30 seconds. This is a LED UV light, it's a combination. Uh, so it don't take long. I've had my life for like, I've had my life for like two years, y'all, and it still works really good. Mm. How do you know if your light, if your gel, if you need a new gel lamp, y'all? Um, because if you if you put put your nails inside the light under the light, and then if it comes out, if it's like still runny or it's uh yeah if it's still runny it's not and it's it's not curing accurately and it may be because your light is uh the lamp is not working you might need to change it or get a new lamp in my case i would just get a new lamp because um i don't know how to change my lamp i'm gonna be honest but anyway So 
so y'all i don't i want to make sure that i have enough on that brush but it's not going to be too much where it's going to run and so this is perfect for my big toe And really, uh, and this is the first coat, I really want to do like two coats. Sometimes you might need three, but you want to make it as thin as possible. So that way it won't run. And if it's long as your goal is to just have it, just spread it on, uh, cover the entire nail plate um but where it's thin and if you still see if you still can see through it that's, that's okay this is only your first coat so i still have enough on here for my for my one more nail so i'm gonna go ahead and polish my my index on my toes Yep, because this is so much better than what than what I did on the other one. Because on the thumb, on my big toe, on the other feet, it was running because I had put too much. Now it's time for me to get some more polish. And so another reason why I am 